Okay, dear friends, I'm back with another machine on the Van Hop, which is the Planet Earth. I'd like add the link into the description section below so that you can download it. Before we begin today's journey, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. You are greatly appreciated. So enough said. We just get started. To save time, I've already imported the virtual machine into the virtual box. So now we can go into the Kani Linux VM. As you can see, I've already discovered the IP address of the target as two hundred and fifty-two. Then I did the Nmap scanning with the options like Sync scan, the virtual scan, the default script scan. And also the comprehensive scan. From the map scanning results, as you can see over here, the three open ports. The first one is 22, which is running SSH surface, and also the actual version information. As we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. The second one is 80, which is running HTTP surface, and last one. Is the four four three, which is running HTTPS or SSL. So wait a moment. As you can see, the map scanning also reveals the certification information. So from here we can know the common name for the certificate, and、uh, so from this point we can know that the target uses this as our domain name, and also this one is subdomain name. So we need to append this both. Domain name into our host file. Let's do it. Echo and the IP address of the target, right? And I like to auto complete this com command, and also another major domain. So what we are going to do next is to use browser to make a menu emulation. Let's fire up our browser of Firefox and put the domain name Earth Local. Yeah, we got the the page back, and、uh, here, as you can see, it looks like、uh, yeah, the site provides us the function com to convert the message to the. Encrypted result, and、uh, so far, the three previous message message, and、uh, of course you can try yourself JSON, and the key like、uh, this one send a message. Yeah, this one is encrypted message. So of course we need to also need to, to know. How about the HTTPS counterpart of this site? Yeah, the same, the same content or function.、And、next, we need to check another subdomain. Yeah, this one. We can use HTTP to test first. Yeah, the same, the same result, and also we can check whether. This subdomain support HTTPS. Yeah, test site. Yeah, please ignore. And also, you can check the source code. Nothing there. Next, of course, we need to do some more emulation manually. For example, we can check whether this site of a testing site has robust file. Yeah, it does have testing notes. Of course, other information doesn't give us any useful information. But this one. Testing notes, testing notes file. However, we don't know the extension of this file. We need to, we need to get、uh, this information before we can access, right? So how to do it? We just use the fuzzing tool, and this one is my one of my favorite tool to do the fuzzing. And I'd like to auto complete this command. And this one is word list for the extension, very short list. And here we can put the fuzz 
as the keyword or symbol and let's just uh, run it as you can see the txt file from is the correct extension because the response code is 200 and then we can download this file right we can use the wget to download we can make a copy of this file and uh, the file name is this one okay T txt but uh, we got error the certificate of the site is not trusted so now i just uh, showcase how to deal with the error maybe you can use the google search engine to make research on that but uh, you know the command itself contains very useful help or instruction okay so you know i i think um, my video is not only uh, demonstrated the key points i'd like to showcase the entire process including the debugging and we can use the wget and the help but of course for the help there will be a lot of output we're just interested in the certificate related information so i think this one is the option what we need we can make a copy and we can run and add this option here yeah we got down this file we can cut this testing notes yeah so this notes is saying that uh, yeah this site is using the xor encryption as the operation algorithm and i've already opened up this one if you are uh, if you are familiar with that you can skip this part of course i think for a pen tester you have already know that right and this will be very uh, simple do the operation but this one is just uh, use the how to say the perform the logical operation uh, i will not go that go into that here now go back to our terminal and uh, the second one the second message is confirmed that they have received our sent messages and the test data was used to test encryption okay so we need to get it down as well test data txt okay we can so i think uh, this is the original data and by some sort of a key and then use xor i'd like to open up this one for example the the value one and xor value 2 and get the var 3 and the var 3 value 3 we have already know this information right for example here i think this one is the meaningful message from the lens of the the message right you know this one is so short so i can we can try this one first if this one it's not working and then we can try some the other message so i think this now we assume that this one is the value three right and uh, also the value two will be the key and then from this operation and the value one we have already know that yeah this is the value one so i think from the you know any any two different value make xr will 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 get uh, another uh, value so conversely from from this one we have already know that and we can know this value original data then we can make inference to get this value and uh, of course i have already we can use the website or two to 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 our advantage but before we can make the XR operation, we need to make sure all value 
or all data use uses use the same type. I mean the hex or the the binary. Okay, so we can of course also. So the first thing we need to do is to convert this text or in XML coding. We can use this one to convert just here this text and then we can got the the hex formatted data and then we can make a copy this is the original data and this one this time we can use this data to be acted as a key okay and then we can use this another website and we can copy the data as key right here and we can maybe i can remove the original or history data and then we can use this message to be our another data or or value and then we can get or can infer to the key original key okay i hope i have already explained it it's a bit difficult for me to express in English. Anyway, now we can go back here. We can paste in here. And then we can decrypt. As you, as you can see, we got the... This should be the original key. Okay? This one is our... You know, so the key is relative... We th this key applies is it, applied here from the respective uh, point, okay? And we can make a copy. Of course, we need to convert this hex value to the text because this one we cannot understand its meaning. And we can also we can use the website this website and uh, paste the hex value, and we got the result. And uh, from the pattern we. Yeah, this text has some pattern. It will repeat this string for many, many times. So we can make a copy. This should be served as our password. And we can go back to our notebook. And we have already know the the username. Yeah, those the, the username is this one, Taylor. But we didn't get the admin portal yet, as you can see, testing. Yeah, for admin portal, so we need to use the GoBuster to do the direct emulation. Yeah, this one, we got a one, admin. So then we can access this. the main panel and we can log in then we can put the username yeah this one and the uh, password is this one and we can paste in here log in here the this site or the main panel portal provides us the CRI or command line interface we, so here we can run the command like ls to list the the files on the current directory, which is successful. So next, our objective for us is to get the reverse here, right? So then we can, of course, you can try try different ways, but uh, this way, for, this way cannot work at all. And you can get this command from the from the pen test monkey of course we need to set up the listener first on our kali linux and now we can run command but uh, failed as you can see so i think we need to you know i, I tried to different technique but this way i'm going to show you it can work we can go to our working directory we can echo and encode this command and we can copy this encoded command 
and we can echo and uh, tunnel to base 64 and uh, tunnel to bash to run it and we got the reverse shell and we can make it to be more friendly or to spawn being bash okay so what can we do now or next is to elevate our privilege to loot user the first thing we need to check is sudo but we cannot we do not have the password for the apache or ww user so i just try three different attempts next we can check the the suid bit thing perm type is a file rather than directory and we got this one reset loot so we can run it to see what it's doing yeah preset the field and we didn't get the root privilege yet so i think we need to download this binary to our kind of linux for furthermore analysis and to download it we can use normally we can use the python to set up the web server but this way is not working for this machine another way i'd like to show you is the the embedded capability of the netcat we can set up another listener <clears throat> and we can when we receive the the content or data and the write to this uh, file with the same file file name okay and uh, now we can use the nc and the kind linux ip address and the port number and we need to input the, this one okay we got down this file and we need to use some tool to analyze okay the first is strings and this command will review readable character with this binary and as you can see the reset triggers are present and resetting root password so i think this binary or command will try to change the password with our own password earth but reset failed or triggers are not present so next we need to know which kind of triggers are present or involved okay and the two i'd like to use l trace command but of course we need to make it executable before we can use this because this one will review the library which the this reset loot binary will call will call for okay so from here we can know yeah this binary will access or test the presence of three different files and now we need to create such a file on the target and the second one okay and the last one touch because this will not check the content we just need to create the file that's all and then we can run this reset loot okay so resetting root password to this one which is successful now we can switch to the root user and then we can retrieve the root flag without any issue so that's pretty much it i hope to see you in the next one bye have a nice day